To split the video file we will be using FFmpeg encoder. First you need to download FFmpeg and install in your system. You can download it from its official site, the link will be provided in the description. We will also be using Bootstrap Darkly for layout and design. Its link will also be provided in the description. First we will include this CSS file using link tag. Attribute head reference will be the path of Bootstrap file. We will create a simple form in Bootstrap classes. And it will have three fields, the video which needs to be splitted, start time and duration of splitted video. Just copy-paste the code to save time. Finally a submit button to perform the action. We can make the form in center by adding margin from top, and applying offset from left side. To upload file we have to give the form an attribute encoding type, and its value must be multi-part, form data. Now we will process the data when form submits. This condition checks if the form is submitted. The basic syntax of command to split the video file, is the path to your installed FFmpeg. If you are using Windows OS then you just need to write FFmpeg, but in Mac OS or Linux you have to enter full path. Minus I and the name of your input video file. Minus video codec and copy. This will copy it into a temporary file to perform splitting action. Minus SS will be the start time where the video will be splitted, its format should be exactly like this. Minus T will be the time duration, how many seconds or minutes will be splitted. In this case, it will split 5 seconds starting from 15 second and last will be the name of output file. System is a built-in PHP function that will execute this command. Now we need to replace these values with form variables. We will be receiving file name in PHP files array, and it will be in temp name. Replace it here. Same goes for cut from field, and it will be in post array. Replace it here. and replace this one here.
We are going to split the video after 20 seconds. And we are going to split 10 seconds from the video. Great. At this point, your script is working perfectly. But you can add one more extra feature in it. If you wanted to see the preview of video before splitting, so you can confirm if you have picked the right video. First you have to add on change event to input type file. This will be called when user selects some file. A new JavaScript function should be created named on file selected. Here, this means the input type file. First we have to get the file which user has selected. Create a new built-in file reader object. This function will load the video in this file reader. When the video is fully loaded, this function will be called. We can get the source of video from events target object in result variable. Now we need to show it in video. So create a video tag below input type file. Give it a unique ID. We also need to apply controls attribute that allows you to play pause video directly in the browser. First get the video object. And simply set the video source attribute to this src variable. That's all for now. If you need any help, feel free to ask in the comments section below.